Hi friends, my name is Pastor Alyssa and welcome to our Open Door Churches midweek devotional. Here at Open Door Churches, we are in the beginnings of our sermon series called I Promise, where we are looking at our membership vow that we take as United Methodists to support the ministries of the church through our prayers, our presence, our gifts, our service, and our witness. And each week we are focusing on a specific one of those vows. And so today we're going to talk about presence. I think it's important first to define the type of presence we are talking about. And that presence is our spiritual, physical, and emotional health and how we are taking care of those areas so that we can be the best versions of ourselves as we live in community and work alongside one another to bring about the kingdom of God on earth as it is in heaven. So today I'm just going to share with you how I practice taking care of my presence and hopefully encourage you to take some time to think about how you nurture your own presence. Um, 2020 has really opened my eye and shifted how I practice presence. Um, we've been in this time of pandemic for seven months. I'm not sure, anyone counting? <laughs> um, it's been a really long time and I can remember towards the beginning thinking that oh, it's a couple weeks or um, a month and here we are seven months later <laughs> and there have been a couple of terms used in the pandemic that have kind of rubbed me the wrong way um, the first you all know is that I don't like the term social distancing because I think that there are plenty of ways for us to still be socially connected even though we have to be physically distant. So I prefer physically distant over socially distant. And the next one that has really been on my mind the past few weeks has been um, the new normal. I really don't like that term. <laughs> The new normal, and I think why I think it rubs me so wrong is that nothing about what is happening in this time of pandemic is normal, and I don't want to see it as normal. That we are living in a very challenging, difficult, and traumatic time, and I think it's important for us to just name it and to own it and to say this year is really hard <laughs> and really awful and um, I think we do a disservice to ourselves if we put the label of normal on it. I don't think that helps us um, take care of our presence. And so, um, yeah, I think that it has helped me to not look at what we're going through as normal um, and to just name it for what it is. And it's really helped uh, me to nurture and to take care of my uh, emotional self really and my spiritual self because I think um, labeling what's going on as normal um, doesn't help. So it, I have feelings of sadness and grief and anger and all of those things that are encompassed in what's going on in our world and to just label them as normal I feel like doesn't let you live into those feelings or to experience those emotions or it just um, kind of just slough it off and that doesn't really help our presence I think 
Um, so what I've been doing this year to practice presence is um, to set aside times throughout the week that I am looking after my spiritual, emotional, and physical health. Um, and for some people, they like to just call it Sabbath time and to take one day during the week. Um, me personally, that doesn't work. Um, I think uh, that it's best, at least for me, to have some Sabbath time each and every day. Um, there are definitely days in the week where that time increases or days in the week where that time is shorter. It's just making sure you have time in your week where you are focusing on you and nurturing your um, emotions and your spiritual, physical, and emotional health. And there are several ways to do that. Um, I like to take some time in the beginning of the day and the end of the day just to be centered. Uh, usually that involves prayer and time in scripture. Um, I uh, got a dog in January and so that has really changed my routine around presence. And um, we start and end each day with walk and sometimes also in the middle of the day we take a walk. Um, honestly depends on how many video meetings I have in one day um, but I think just that time to separate um, to step back and just breathe uh, really helps to focus on your presence I think also uh, recognizing that taking time for yourself um, and to take care of your spiritual emotional physical health doesn't have to be something you do by yourself. Um, human beings are just naturally social creatures and we are um, just kind of wired that way and um, while we're in this time sometimes that has to look a little bit different. Um, so personally one thing I um, have reached out and started is um, having like work groups with friends so um i live and work uh at home and during pandemic and i on my own mostly uh i have wesley um but that can get lonely right and so to recognize that you're having that feeling and to uh take care of that and so um i have a group of young clergy friends who um, we are all on Zoom working on our own projects, but also have each other to chat to or to check in with or um, just to know that you're not alone in what you're going through is really important, I think. Um, also, just taking time both morning and night uh, is usually what works for me to just um, pray and to think about the day and what's coming next and just lift those things to God um, is helpful as well. And so I think as we think about presence, one thing I hope you take away is um, that practicing presence looks different for everyone, but it's also important for us to be intentional and to take that time to uh, take care of yourself and to practice presence um, and to set that time aside and give it a priority in your week um, yeah so um, take some time this week and to think about uh, how you are uh, looking after your physical emotional and spiritual health um, and uh, how you can make changes if you need to make changes or um, how you can share that with others who may need to hear um, some new ideas of how to take care of their own presence. Um, I think one last thing I want to mention is that it's really important because I've noticed um, that if I'm not taking care of my uh, spiritual, emotional, or physical health, um, that it really does um hinder um or 
bring about a side of me that I don't really like to share <laughs> to other people, right? So like, if you're not taking care of your physical, emotional, and spiritual health, um, that's easier for me to be shorter with people or, you know, you get a short temper, right? Anyone have a short temper <laughs> before? Like, it's easier for me to snap. It's harder for me to focus on things. Um, and it really takes away from who I want to be as the child of God and who I want to be um, as a Christian and who I want and how I want to live out my life and my ministry. And um, so yeah, presence is very important. And so take some time this week and to think about your own presence and how your presence is um, furthering the work of bringing about God's kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. Have a good week, y'all. Bye.